Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today, I'm gonna bring you six, six dividend aristocrats, dividend kings, six dividend stocks that you guys should hold forever in your portfolio. I'm gonna go over the top six that I picked out for you guys in this video. But before we get into the video, make sure that you hit that thumbs up button. It helps out this channel a lot, more than you even know. And while you're down there, also hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. But enough talking, let's get straight into the video. Hey, welcome back YouTube. I wanted to bring you guys six dividend stocks that you guys should hold in your portfolio forever. Some of these are dividend kings and some of these are dividend aristocrats. A dividend aristocrat is a company that has increased their dividend payments for the last 25 years and it's also inside the S&P 500. And I also have a couple of dividend kings inside of this list and those are companies that has increased their dividend payouts for the last 50 years. So some of these companies have been increasing their dividend payouts longer than I have been alive, okay? So we're gonna dive into the top six stocks that you guys should buy and hold forever and eventually pass down this dividend portfolio to your kids. So let's go over to seekingalpha.com so I can show you guys some of the charts and why these companies are so good. So the first company I'm gonna bring you is Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J. &J. Yes, the baby oil company, they make a lot more than baby oil. In fact, they're, they're expecting to be able to deliver enough utilities, enough supplies to able to, to supply the vaccine for um, the, that's out, you know, you can't say that name on YouTube, but yes, they're expecting to um, deliver the vaccine. Right now, Johnson & Johnson is at $142.98. Their dividend yield is 2.87 with an annual payout of $4.04. For, so for every share that you own of Johnson & Johnson, you are gonna get paid out $4.04. And their dividend growth is 57 years. So over the last 57 years, that makes them dividend kings not just dividend aristocrat but dividend king because they has increased their payout over the last 57 years so they pay out quarterly so they're expected to pay out a dollar and one cents four times a year to the investors if we look at the dividend history this is johnson and johnson dividend history since 1990. uh they started out paying three cents to their investors quarterly all the way to a dollar and one cents quarterly so if you hold on to Johnson Johnson for the next 10, 20, 25 years, um, expect them to also increase their dividend payments for the next 25 years to because you want to be a part of the elitist to say that I'm a dividend king. They have been through a recession. They have been through a pandemic. So Johnson & Johnson has increased their um, dividend payments throughout all of those. So expect this company to increase it next year as well to make it 58 years of increasing their dividend payout. So that's number one on the list, Johnson & Johnson. The next one on the list is Pepsi, tickle symbol PEP. They're on the cusp of becoming dividend kings. Right now they're dividend aristocrats. They increased their dividend payments over the last 48 years. And Pepsi is an amazing company. They actually have a ton of more products than Coca-Cola do. If we look at Pepsi, this is a couple of products. This is just a fraction of what they own. Look at all of the list of the products that they own. Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Wild Cherry, all the Pepsi mixes. And if we go to their uh, company page, they got Pepsi. They own Frito-Lays, Doritos, Mountain Dew, Cracker Oats, Gatorade, Lipton, uh, Tropicana, Rope Foods, Aquafina, Cheetos, Tortitos, Brisk. They own they own a bunch of stuff and i think uh pepsi just also acquired muscle milk so they're adding some energy drinks i think they own rockstar as well they just added that to that portfolio so pepsi has a large line of products that they have in the, inside of that company that's why it's such a good company right now it's at 133 dollars and 30 cents uh like i said their dividend growth is 48 years i think they're gonna find a way to dig deep and increase their uh, dividend payments for the next two years so they could be labeled dividend kings which helps their company a lot they have an annual payment of four dollars and nine cents and they pay out quarterly their dividend yield is 3.08 percent so that's pepsi tickle symbol pep 
this that's one of my favorite companies i need to get a lot more pepsi added to my portfolio so i could take these dividends you know four dollars and nine cents per share adds up very quickly and right now pepsi is on sale if we take a look at the summary um pepsi was up trading high and then the bad news came out which put pepsi on a very good sell at a dollar and three cents and now it's around uh 133 dollars so you still get it on sale compared to 100 um 145 dollars when it was at its all-time high for the last year so that is pepsi pep the next one i'm going to bring you is 3m ticker symbol mmm uh, this is the company that makes the duct tape and regular tape, but they make so much more. I think I think they have over 20,000 different products within the company. And this one has increased their dividend growth for the last 61 years, making them dividend kings. OK, this company is a dividend king. Um, the annual payout is five dollars and 88 cents per share with a dividend yield of three point seven four percent paying out quarterly. So a dollar and forty seven per quarter if we, if we take a look at 3m website they, they have cleaning products personal health care home improvement uh decorative skills sports and recreations office school supplies and we look and if we take a look at 3m wikipedia i was actually wrong the company produces over 6,000 different products they have the 3m masks they have surgical gloves they have um 3m makes so much stuff that it is impossible to name them all like i said they have over 60,000 different products and they make a lot of money um in the worker safety in the u.s healthcare industry and also in the consumer goods so that is 3m a dividend king with the um uh, with the growth of 61 years the next one is wm waste management their price is at 105 dollars and 21 cents they increased their growth weight over the last 17 years they have an annual payout of two dollars and 18 cents with a dividend yield of 2.08 percent they pay out quarterly and they um, every quarter they pay out 54 cents to the company. The reason I love waste management is because what are you gonna do? The waste is not gonna go away. This is a utility company. Everyone throws their trash away. And this is the leading waste management company out there inside the States. No one's gonna beat them. Trash is always gonna happen. Even if we get more biodegradable, even if we recycle more, waste management deals with the recycling and they will find out ways to uh, help with the biodegradable picking it up and maybe start a new landfill with just biodegradable waste but the most important reason why i like waste management is if we take a look at that summary over the last five years this is almost the straightest line that you could possibly draw uh five years ago waste management was at 47 dollars and then it's just a straight line of course the dip right there from the bad uh the from the pandemic and then it's eventually going to recover so waste management makes this list because right now it's on sale at 105 dollars it was at the all-time high of 124 dollars but this company just has steady growth. It's not gonna do anything insane, like jump up a whole bunch of percentages. It's just gonna have that steady growth, steady growth, steady growth, because it's not gonna go anywhere. Everyone has waste, so they're gonna increase their profits every single year. In fact, we can even take a look at the last 10 year chart. Smooth line all the way up, no crazy jumps. It's just that this company is slow and steady and boring. People love boring, nothing crazy is gonna happen, nothing, no dramatic drops is gonna happen. It's gonna be slow and steady, and you and you know you're gonna get paid your dividends quarterly every single time. And that is WM Waste Management. The next one is the Clorox company, tickle symbol CLX. Yes, Clorox, they own a bunch of different other stuff just like Pepsi does. Um, the Clorox company is at $221. They have a dividend growth of 18 years. They pay out $4.44 per share with a dividend yield of 2%. They also pay out quarterly at $1.11 per share. If we take a look at the summary, ever since the pandemic happened, if we take a look at the last six months, Clorox is up 45%. So Clorox did not have a drop at all from the pandemic. In fact, people needed to buy more cleaning products and Clorox was the way to go to disinfect the house. So their stock went up, 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 up. 
So um, if the world continues in the way that we're living in right now, people are going to continue to clean their houses and clean schools and clean their cars for years and years and years to come. And Clorox is one of the leading household uh, cleaners that you guys can buy. But like I said, Clorox own a bunch of different products. If we're over on Google, they own Burt Bees. Yes, the people that make the lipstick and the lip balm. Burt Bees, they own Formula 409. Uh, Glade, they own Hidden Valley, yes, Hidden Valley Ranch, like the stuff you put on your on your salads, yes, Clorox own that. Kingsford, like the Kingsford charcoal um, briskets, like when you go want to go barbecue, yes. Uh, KC Masterpiece, Liquid Palmer, Brita, uh, Miss Tonline, Pine Saw, Poet, Greenworks Cleaning Products, Soval, Real New, Renew Life. Rainbow Light, Natural Vitality, and the list goes on. So Clorox do own a bunch of different stuff inside of their portfolio, which makes them a great buy, um, knowing that people are gonna buy cleaning products for the next 10, 20 years to make sure that uh, this pandemic type stuff doesn't happen anymore. And the last one I'm bringing you is AT&T, Tickle Symbol T. They are dividend aristocrats. They have increased their dividend payments for the last 35 years. The annual payout is $2.08 with a dividend yield of 6.91%. That is insane. So they pay out quarterly at uh, 52 cents per share. And let me show you guys why I like AT&T so much other than that they're dividend aristocrats and they're going to reach for to be dividend kings. So expect for the next 15 years to, to increase their dividend payouts for the next 15 years. Um, if we're looking at the summary, this is why I love AT&T right now. Um, they are on sale. They are still on sale. AT&T at one point was up to $38. Now AT&T is at $30. So you're getting it for a, so we're looking at AT&T for 11% discount on the years. So you guys can stack up on this company um, while the getting is good. You might as well stack up on AT&T and grow your portfolio, getting paid dividends quarterly from AT&T. All right, guys, and we're back. Those were the top six companies. Let me read off a quick stat to you right quick on another reason I love AT&T. If, if you guys want to make a thousand dollars a month from dividends, so basically twelve thousand dollars a year um, in Pepsi, you will have to own two thousand nine hundred and thirty three shares. So three hundred and ninety one thousand dollars, three hundred and ninety one K. J&J, you will have to own. 2,970 shares worth worth $424,000. Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of money. Um, WM, 5,504 shares. You will have to own uh, worth $580,000. Um, Clorox, you have to own 2,702 shares worth $600,000. And 3M, you'll have to own 2,040 shares worth $322,000. And the reason why AT&T made my top six list, even though they're not doing the best out of all of these companies, in order to make $12,000 a year, you would have to own 5,741 shares worth $175,000. With AT&T, you only have to own $175,000 worth of equity in AT&T to get paid $1,000 every single month from AT&T. It sounds like a lot of money to most of us, to a lot of people, um, $175,000 might not be a lot of money. To me, it's a lot of money. I got a long way to go. You guys seen my portfolio, so I have nothing to brag about. But also, I do believe $175,000 is attainable somewhere in my near future. So that is the top six. Hopefully, you guys have already hit thumbs up on this video. If not, go ahead and hit thumbs up. And while you're down there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the dream team. Come join the family. I have a lot of content coming out soon that you guys do not want to miss out on. But other than that, I'm Zeke. Bring you the dream green show. And I'm out. Peace.